Hey, what up everybody? Uh, this is Stevie Breach coming to you. I put up the video last night uh, about the uh, Assault and Battery 777 and Stevie Breach, YouTube's greatest tag team teaming up against the world's greatest tag team, Shelton Benjamin and Charlie Haas. All in all, just to go back over the whole feud, the whole thing started uh, basically in Miami at the ROH meet and greet. Um, you might even say that it even started maybe back in Atlanta uh, when uh, Assault and Battery was trying to get uh, Shelton Benjamin to uh, sign an action figure for him. Um, it wasn't that big of a deal. We ran into him at the parking lot as Shelton was pulling out and uh, you know, Ravi asked him uh, for an autograph and uh, Shelton wouldn't even give him the time of day to look at him through his window and then he tried to uh, pull forward and almost hit Ravi with this car. Uh, then fast forward a year later uh, to Miami outside the uh, the meet and greet where you had to pay uh, basically uh, $40 a wrestler, $20 for an autograph, $20 for a picture. Um, bought an autograph from each of them and bought a uh, the picture. So basically I think it was $60 to meet the world's greatest tag team. And uh, basically when I told them I wanted to, um, uh, them to autograph my item, uh, my cover of... Uh, Honor takes center stage from the previous year where they had wrestled and, and won the uh, the tag team championship. I was trying to get almost everybody that um, wrestled on the card uh, to sign that. And it was a real special show to me, being my first Ring of Honor show. Uh, but basically, uh, instead of signing or instead of uh, taking a picture, they signed an eight by ten, which I thought was uh, going to be free, and told them I didn't want it. Uh, he basically told me it was too bad, and if you want, if I wanted to take the picture, I'd have to go inside and pay the. Uh, uh, the thirty or forty dollars again to take to get the, the picture taken with the the pair of them. Uh, that was when uh, it didn't get very you know over the top you know aggressively you know verbal. But I was basically letting him know that I wasn't leaving him alone and you know he wasn't doing what I was doing. And we just went back and forth, back and forth till uh, a member of uh, ROH membership uh, or management uh, stepped in. I don't, I'm not sure who it was. It was an older gentleman, too old to be security, but he basically just told Charlie to shut up and take the picture, and they took the picture, and as you can see from it, uh, they, they weren't too happy to take the picture, and I even tried to give back the 8x10s, and uh, he told me uh, that, that nobody's going to fucking want them if uh, they have my name on them. Uh, it's basically thinking that I guess they have no fans named Steven uh, out there in the world. Um, um, but basically, uh, throughout the whole thing, the one thing that I thought was funny, I didn't get a chance to see until this morning because I am, uh, well now I am blocked by both members of uh, the World's Greatest Tag Team. Uh, I've been blocked by uh, my previous exchange uh, with the Matt Morgan lookalike Charlie Haas, uh, but Shelton blocked me for mentioning that the uh, ROH tag titles were currently residing in uh, TNA, uh, which I didn't think was that hard of a blast, but I guess he didn't like the way uh, I gave it uh, like that. But Basically, I didn't even know that the whole time Charlie Haas was tweeting back and forth with uh, Shelton Benjamin about the whole thing. And basically, his whole thoughts was that, um, you know, he's a heel, and uh, they were being heels, so they deserved to try to rip me off for my $20, and he doesn't feel bad about what he did. And uh, his, whole excuse, his whole thing is that uh, $20 will buy him 60 diapers, and he has four kids. Well, Charlie Haas, I have two kids, and I have one of them in diapers. I work damn hard. I'm not saying that you don't work hard as, as a professional wrestler, but I honestly took that as kind of hard, sort of saying that, like, you know, I'm a fan who flew across the country uh, to see two Ring of Honor shows that I paid $100 a piece to go see. That's $200. Plus, I came early to come to uh, an ROH meet and greet where I paid money to meet you, more money than I, than I should have by far, and... Um, you're going to say that because you're a heel, you deserve to try to screw me out of my money. I, I don't think that's right. I mean, uh, you know, like I say, I, I work damn hard. I just got off of work. You can see it in the background. You see I'm still in my work clothes. But um, that, that really did piss me off to, to think that, you know, just because you're a heel, you can try to screw me out of my money. Um, you know, World's Greatest Tag Team doesn't have the, the greatest, you know, fans backing them in ROH right now. A lot of people think that they have the kind of heat on them that makes you want to change the channel and just not even care if you ever come back to it. But, um, you know, for, for the money that people pay, I mean, you can be a heel and you can say whatever you want to about me or my family or my mom and my kids, you know, if it's all a part of wrestling and it's all a part of the joke, you know what I'm saying? You know, even take my drink and spill it over my head, I don't care, but don't fuck with my pocketbook because, I mean, basically... Me buying these tickets and me buying DVDs and you know, me paying to, to meet you in ROH Mean Greets, that's what pays to be keep you on the roster and keep you in business as a wrestler. Um, I just, you know, you, you can be a heel all you want to, but just don't fuck with my pocketbook. It just doesn't make sense. But uh, 
thank you everybody uh, for uh, your tweets and uh, everybody who uh, you know went along with it. It was a it was a fun day, and they're, they're still pouring in and uh, from people watching uh, Ravi's video uh, talking about it. But you know, basically, I think anybody who watches this video is gonna have the same thing. You know, be a heel all you want to, and. Yeah, uh, even fake like you're gonna take a swing at me, and I'll sell it like that kid uh, sell Batista back in the day. But I mean, you just don't mess with somebody's pocketbook, or they're not gonna want to mess with you. I mean, at the point now, Shelton Benjamin said on Twitter, he goes, "We'll see what happens when I see you next time." And I told him straight out, I was like, "You know what's gonna happen next time? I'm gonna go talk to the Briscoes, or I might go talk to A uh, and X, and they're gonna give me money. You guys aren't gonna get my money again. There's no way in the world they're gonna want to meet you, stuck up guys. It's just bad business by you guys. But thank you everybody for uh, checking this out. I appreciate it."